I'm going I'm to tell you a little story just about an algorithm, uh, the Monte Carlo algorithm, which we were talking about this morning. So we went back to 1993. Now we're going to go back to 1947. Monte Carlo. And uh, sort of where, where did it come from? And a little bit of advice for all you people who are in the software business, that the difficulty is that people have been active, seem to believe that it's easier to write a new code than to understand an old one. And that's really the, the source. So this was 1952. That was the wisdom of Johnny von Neumann. And there would never have been Johnny von Neumann well, behind every great uh, man is somebody else who was uh, Stan Ulam. And uh, Stan Ulam was sort of the, the joker to von Neumann who, who was, one of the, his friends told me he was a combination of the most intelligent and the laziest person he had ever met. And he put those two things together uh, and he described it early in his life. That he, One time he had a dream and he woke up and it was a true theorem and he thought everything in life would be that easy. And it, it was a <laughs> tremendous disappointment that it wasn't. So he, what he did was he let other people finish his ideas. He just had the ideas. So that's, that's Stan and Johnny and his daughter Clary who, like all daughters, my daughter's in the, right in the aisle here, who can explain things better than anyone else. So uh, Claire, his daughter, said, all my father does is think, think, think. <laughs> and, and that was not really true. Stan and, and Johnny, these were logicians who came out of Eastern Europe to America in the 1940s. And they stopped thinking. They had to build. They built the atomic bomb. So there's Johnny and, and Dick Feynman, and Stan Ulam at, at Bandelier Monument at Los Alamos in Haiti. So they, they stopped thinking and they built uh, the nuclear weapon. And then after that, the, the, the government said, well, what do you want to do next? And they had no question. They wanted to do computers. But they wanted to, they, so the government said, well, why computers? And well, because we then we can build you more bombs. And so that's what they did. They're stopping it at the, and so that's the weekly poker game at Los Alamos with with uh, Stan and Nick Metropolis, who, who sort of executed the idea of the Monte Carlo algorithm, George Cowan, who started the Santa Fe Institute. And Stan then got uh, viral encephalitis and ended up in the hospital, and the doctors told him he was going to die and he needed to stop thinking. So he, he said, I'm going to stop thinking by playing uh, solitaire. So he played solitaire for days and days on end, and that's when he had the idea of Monte Carlo, of playing these statistical games and, and that we could do this with computers and Nick Metropolis sort of put this together and did all the hard work. Now who did Nick Metropolis get to help do the hard work? Of, so here they're actually doing these first Monte Carlos by hand because the computer was, was like most vaporware was not ready yet. And so who, who did the hand work was Clary von Neumann, Johnny's second wife, who was the Hungarian national figure skating champion at age 14. And had, had, had only passed high school algebra by, by being very sweet to her teacher. Yet Johnny, he, he, she became the first. She did all the hard coding of the early Monte Carlos. And they, they he learned this by driving back and forth across the country with no FM radio, no air conditioning, no seat belts, no overdrive, no fourth gear. Uh, these immense sort of time to think. And when I started looking into this, where did Monte Carlo come from, uh, somebody, Johnny's stepdaughter said, oh, we have a filing cabinet nobody's looked at. You should come see. It's always next to the water heater in the basement. And in there was all the correspondence, all the handwritten letters between Johnny and Clary from 1937 to 1956 when he died. It was all there, all the story of how the coding originated and how they did it, how they worked on all these problems and all these, because they were always in different places. He's at Los Alamos. And in there was the most amazing thing. Clary wrote her memoirs. They had met in Monte Carlo. Her, her first husband, she married four times. One, the first time for sex, the second time for money, the third time for brains, and the fourth time for California. <laughs> and, but this, this is one of the original hydrogen bomb codes, four pages. So the modern computing, we have a huge input-output with a lot of processing there, you have six weeks of processing to get a one-bit output, yes or no. And then Clary swam out into the ocean. She got to La Jolla and she said, I, I feel I do not need to travel anymore because I am there already. 
and, and she suffered from depression, and she killed herself, but she left all these papers, and it's a tremendous story of the birth of software that's waiting. And the happy ending of, of me working on this was that all this stuff is now being digitized, and it's there for somebody else to do something with. Thank you.